Hello everyone, this is Claudia from Paper is Coming. Today I want to show you this steampunk journal. Always wanted to make one. I really like the result. I tried to make it uh, look like metal. I really like the way it looks. So let's take a look. In this journal I try to make something different about the structure and try to incorporate many kinds of papers and different textures. So in this one I have this little top. No. This wonderful paper, I love it. And I have this signature with all kinds of papers from different sizes, styles and textures to give it a nice look. This one is wonderful. It's a, a print from a, a stamp my daughter made, handmade, and I really like it. I, I guess it looks amazing here. So we got this signature. I love this. And then I have this big talk. I, I like my journals to have a lot of space for writing. I try to give it a personality and decorate it, but the main thing about a journal is to write on it. So I include this little notepad, all very grungy and crazy, to have a space for writing. I love this page because it came with this little envelope with a dangle and a clip. And what's here? A space for writing. This little, I love this picture. It's amazing. And we can write in the back. This is a, an envelope. I saw it like an like a signature and we can keep here document sheets memorabilia etc and this is another one I really like this one these wonderful tags that I found and we can write in the back I make this little sheet so more writing space and this little key from an old typewriter to give it the, the steampunk look. And these wonderful papers that I found, some I had them in my stash. Another one is coffee dyed like this one. All different to make it more dynamic, I guess. I really like this one. It came out real nice. And trying to preserve as much space for writing as I can. So I make this little one. It's a little sheet. About this crowd. And I make this little notepad. This is small, wonderful pages. I really like them. Came out nicely. And what about this? It's amazing, right? And this clip to keep it together and give it a look. So we turn around. What I like the most about this structure is that it's like a never-ending journal. You can keep it flapping and flapping and flapping and goes on and on and on. Oh, I like this one. I love this to make it look so industrial. I make this little sheet here with this stamping that is really steampunk. And more of my different sheets and papers. This one. 
try to add some flaps here and there not to make it extremely decorated so we can keep the essence of these papers for writing oh I love this one this one is a stamping paper and you guess more writing space this one came out so nicely I really like them I just painted with a uh, all gold paint that I have and give it a, a nice nice finish I really like it and this one this one I love it I love this picture so crazy yeah we can write in the back of course with these little details and this paper is amazing I like this one because this is a really rustic clip <laughs> a really old uh, sheet that I found and it gets perfect here so it's all different this comfy dies some papers that I had I really like it I like it to be all different all heterogeneous this wonderful tags here these are amazing I really like them of course we can write in the back I really love this one look at it it's amazing little crazy and try to keep this metal like this is a um, corrugated cardboard that I found in a in a box okay so as you can see my journal is not really full of stuff and so decorated but I really like the style of this one and we really love this structure we got four signatures lots of space for writing I really hope you like it bye